Why do you think that you want to run for the president in Kenya 2022? Why is that? That's a very good question. One, uh, I want to fix the problems of this country. And the problems of our country is politics and economy. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna come uh, on table or as independents running uh, for 2020? We are in the process of forming a political party. Okay. So you're going to ask you, how much does a parliament in Kenya get paid, if you know? The, par the Kenyan parliamentarians are the highest paid legislators in the world. First of all, I'm going to go towards the Swahili. Uh, let me say thank you to uh, Kenyans uh, anywhere they are uh, in in Africa. I mean, in Kenya or in all over the world. Actually, Kenyans has been very very good people when it comes to uh, to push the Swahili. Uh, Kenya as national, they adopted Swahili in 1985. What they call, I think, was the system four one sub four one four four well, a dash four four something like that i'm not sure but it was in 1985 that's when they adopted swahili in the school system and to be used as national language uh before that the swahili was spoken by people uh in in the private sector like you can speak at your home but since then swahili uh has become pushed very very quickly uh and very very good in a good manner with the kenyans with the movie like uh, uh lion king with hakuna matata uh, the, uh, the words from Michael Jackson and uh, Penda Pia, that is the song. Uh, Jenga or Django is a, a, is a game of kids building things. So uh, Kenya has been very, very successful uh, pushing the idea of Swahili, uh, which we know. Now back to you, uh, Mr. Uh, Candidate President of Kenya, uh, Mr. Stefan. What is your plan? when it comes to Swahili because as you know uh, in is not full spoken in Somalia your next country your neighbor country is not full spoken in uh, in Ethiopia your neighbor country so what is your plan what is what do you have for us in when it comes to Swahili if you become elected to be a president of Kenya uh, from 2022 uh, having lived in Tanzania I have seen the effect of the language as a unifier. What has made Tanzanian to be proud to be Tanzania as one nation is because they have one language known as Swahili. Unfortunately, that is not the same. We have taken Swahili just as a mean of communication, and yet we have English as the national and official language. I think now the southern side, we have Sadek, that is the country south of Sahara, Tanzania, Namibia, Angola, South Africa, they adopted Swahili as a main of communication and they have now started teaching Swahili in those, in those schools because they wanted to use it as one of the languages for communication. It is so sad that I meet a brother, a neighbor here from Somali or Ethiopia or Burundi and we cannot communicate. I have to get a foreign language, which is not an African language, so that we communicate. It's very absurd. And as a good Swahili speaker like me, I will very much promote Swahili to be the language of Africa. It is unfortunate that it's only the continent of Africa does that not have a recognized language in the UNO. The Arabs have their languages. Uh, we have people who are stolen from Africa who are full of in Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Venezuela, Cuba, Panama, uh, America, I mean United States of America. We have those people there and they are here. They are our people. What is your plan? Uh, for them, do, are you gonna give if you become you become president? Are you gonna give them welcome home and and try to accommodate with them? Because uh, the Chinese in America they have a place called China where they can go any given time. Uh, the European they do as well. 
but our fellow uh, African America or African uh, Afro Latinos, they don't have that. Do you gonna kind of create somehow an area for them so they can come home and test the good of Africa? The last question is just a part of what you just mentioned is about uh, the auto official or not really borders among our countries. Yeah. Can I count on you if you are elected to be the president of Kenya? At least to unite Uganda and Kenya and the, or Uganda or Tanzania and Kenya or Somalia and Kenya. At least to give us some start with uh, on planet Earth. And so um, uh, I want to say this to you before we go on. I, I... What in the world is this thing this gentleman have on? I think you can see that. What is that? If we uh, Kenyans are independents, what is this thing? When they become president, do you gonna remove this thing off the head? This this thing here? Uh, do we actually need to? We are weeks as men, especially <laughs> to show because that has nothing to do with Africans. What happens is this. Uh huh. The Kenyan constitution has separation of powers. Okay. We are three arms of government. That is the <laughs> okay. the legislature uh -huh. and the judiciary. But we follow the British laws because we were colonized by the British. Uh 